Hey viewers, welcome back to We Code No Code. What if you could build your app screens with AI in seconds without writing a single line of code? In today's video, we're going to explore Google Stitch, one of Google's most powerful AI tools for UI design and prototyping. Stitch has actually been around for a while, but recently Google took it to a whole new level with major upgrades, powered by the Gemini 3 Pro thinking model and a redesigned AI agent, Stitch is now faster, smarter, and far more capable than ever before. Today, you can create beautiful production-ready UI prototypes using just a simple prompt or a rough sketch or wireframe. Even a hand-drawn idea can be transformed into a polished digital interface in seconds, as Stitch instantly generates UI elements and clean digital mockups from your input. You can also try multiple design variants easily without writing any code. But that's just the beginning. Google Stitch now lets you run real-time prototype simulations so you can actually experience how your app or website will work before it's built. You can add annotations, make instant changes, and even generate heat maps to see where users are most likely to click. This means better CTAs, smarter ad placements, and more effective sponsor link positioning, all driven by AI insights. And here's where it gets really exciting. Once your UI prototype is finalized, you can export it directly to Google AI Studio and start building your app or website instantly. Google AI Studio recreates your design exactly as your prototype, layout, structure, and flow included. And with just a few follow-up prompts, you can have a fully working website or app ready in minutes. You can download usable front-end code or export your designs to Figma for easy collaboration. You can also compare it with tools like Figma, Sketch, or other AI design platforms. Since Stitch is experimental and evolving, it's actively improving and works well for rapid prototyping, beginners, and developers alike. And the amazing part is it's completely free now. You can check it out in Google Labs. All the tool links are available in the description of this video. But before we continue, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tutorials on AI, no code, and app building. All right, let's dive into the demo and see Google Stitch in action. So I gave a prompt to create a web app prototype for a plant nursery. If you notice, I selected web app design while providing the prompt. And the moment I clicked on generate, Google Stitch started thinking and preparing the mockup. It clearly mentions that in this thread, it can generate designs only for the desktop platform, not mobile. Then it outlines exactly what it's going to build. A home page with a welcome message, links to explore plants, and a button to chat with an AI plant care assistant. An About Us page that tells the story and passion behind the nursery, a products page showing plants in a grid with images, names, descriptions, prices, and options to add to cart or buy now, a testimonials page to showcase customer reviews, and finally, a contact us page with a contact form and essential nursery details. At this point, Stitch asks for confirmation to go ahead and generate these screens as a desktop web app prototype. Once you approve, it starts creating the full UI, all from a single prompt. While it's generating the prototype design, let's quickly take a look at the hamburger menu. Here, you'll find options to share, download, duplicate, edit, and access help. If you open the Help section, you can see all the keyboard shortcuts designed to make working faster and easier. These shortcuts help you perform different actions smoothly while working inside the design canvas, making navigation and editing much more efficient. Now, if you go to the Settings section, you can see your usage details. You'll notice that the daily credit limit is 150 and the redesign credits are 15. These are the daily free usage limits provided by Google Stitch. Now let's go back to the canvas 
As you can see, Google Stitch is still working on generating our prototype design. Here, you can see options to zoom in and zoom out on the canvas. Next, you can select and change the canvas colors based on your convenience and preference. And in just a few minutes, Google Stitch has generated our first prototype based on the prompt we provided. The prototype looks beautiful and professional. You can see options to generate design variations, where you can choose the number of versions, adjust the creative range, and explore several other customization options. You can also provide custom instructions to Google Stitch, guiding the design style and helping it generate exactly what you're looking for. You can also generate the prototype by selecting multiple screens at once. There are additional options to regenerate the design and use features like predictive heat maps, which we'll explore later in this video. In the Edit section, you have options to add instructions to chat, annotate the preview, make changes, and edit the theme as well. For this demo, we'll select the Dark Mode theme and apply it. And as you can see, the theme has now been changed to Dark Mode, looking stunning. We'll select all the remaining pages and change the theme to Dark Mode to maintain consistency across the design. There are other options as well, such as alignment tools, which you can use to fine-tune the working layout. Now we'll select all the generated screens and click on Prototype. This is a newly introduced feature. Once we click it, Google Stitch will start generating an interactive prototype for our web app across all the screens. By seamlessly connecting user flows and transitions, Stitch allows us to experience the app just like a real product, automatically linking pages, defining navigation paths, and simulating real user interactions. This provides a clear understanding of the complete flow and behavior of the application, even before development begins, making it incredibly easy to validate the user journey, identify gaps, and refine the experience early, saving both time and effort before moving into actual development. Now that our prototype has been generated, you can see options like Interact, Restart, Edit, Preview, and more. When we click on Interact, it immediately allows us to interact with the prototype. In this mode, you can see how the app will function in real time. We will just click all the pages one by one and see if all pages are working and responding as expected. And yes, everything is working exactly as expected. In the Preview section, you can check how the prototype looks across different devices, including mobile, tablet, and desktop views. This helps ensure the design is responsive and consistent across screen sizes. If you click on the Restart button, it simply restarts the interaction mode, and the Edit option lets you make further changes to the prototype based on your needs and preferences. To test the Edit feature, we'll simply ask Stitch to generate a profile photo for the Profile section. You can select any element on the screen and tell Google Stitch exactly what changes you want to make using plain instructions. Once you save the changes, Stitch processes the request and instantly updates the design, allowing you to iterate quickly and refine the UI without any manual redesign work. And just like that, you can see the magic. Within a few seconds, a profile photo is added directly to the profile icon, instantly updating the design. Now, if you click on More, you'll see options to view code, export, download, and delete. We'll quickly click on View Code, and Google Stitch will start generating the code for your design, which you can use in any other editor to continue working on it. Now, the most amazing and exciting feature is the export option. You have multiple ways to export your design. And with the latest upgrade, Google Stitch lets you export your prototype directly to Google AI Studio, where simple, plain language instructions can turn your prototype into a real, working application. For this demo, we'll use Google AI Studio. We'll simply write a basic prompt like make this real and click on build with AI Studio. 
This will route us directly to Google AI Studio, where you can see that the instructions are automatically added to the prompt using the hot link from the HTML. Once we click Build, Google AI Studio starts working its magic and begins building our app based entirely on the prototype we provided. And just like that, our first version of the app is ready. You can see how beautifully the app has been created. Let's quickly view it in full screen. We will quickly click on all the sections in our app, and it seems like more or less every section is working and functioning as expected. Of course, you'll still need a few follow-up prompts to make it fully functional and production ready, but honestly, it truly feels like magic. It's really amazing and incredible. I'm really impressed, seriously. The speed, the quality of the output, and how effortlessly everything comes together is honestly mind-blowing. Now let's go back to Google Stitch. We'll select one screen and test the predictive heat map. Under Generate, just click Predictive Heat Map, and within seconds, it gets generated. This heat map shows where users are most likely to click or focus, helping you optimize CTAs, improve layouts, and make better design decisions before launch. Now we'll quickly test the Redesign Agent feature. I've taken a random ad hoc wireframe image of a mobile app from Google. I'll simply attach this image, add the prompt, make this image into a real prototype, and click Generate. Now Google Stitch starts generating the design, but since we selected web app and provided a mobile app wireframe, it first confirms with us whether we want to generate a mobile design instead. Okay. And see, instantly it generated the perfect prototype design for us. Now let's try redesigning this prototype. You can even use a reference website URL, but for this demo, we'll keep it simple with a prompt. I just gave the prompt, redesign this prototype in a Christmas theme, and within moments, Google Stitch regenerated the entire design with a festive look and feel. You can see how beautifully Christmas colors like red, green, and gold are applied across all screens with subtle festive elements enhancing the flight search, flight selection, and boarding pass screens for a consistent holiday look. What's really impressive is how consistent and polished the redesign looks, all from a single prompt. This clearly shows how powerful Google Stitch is for quickly experimenting. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to We Code No Code and hit the bell icon so you never miss upcoming tutorials. I've got a lot more exciting AI and no code projects, tools, and demos coming your way. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep building, keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next one.